Hello again. There is another episode. Tiny and I went to this beautiful place in Lake Ontario for some free diving session. Water was crazy cold. In the beginning, I thought we're not gonna free dive or swim at all. But after me, after a couple minutes in the water, we chill, we relaxed and the visibility was so clear we can miss this opportunity to tape ourselves the water was actually incredibly cold first getting into the water i didn't have so we're pretty well equipped he's got a five millimeter wetsuit um and i got a three millimeter wetsuit put it on i got my gloves didn't have my booties so what was exposed is our heads our hands and our feet I ended up putting our hoods on because otherwise it would have not been possible. You would, it would just get in, everything gets snug very, very quickly. So <clears throat> once we got in the water, however, put our, um, once we got in the water, the visibility of the cold water, for those who dive and free dive, you guys would know. It was so clear, it was incredible. It was beautiful, it was absolutely beautiful. You could see the stones, you could see the sands. It was so clear, you could see from, once you dive in and then you can look in the sky from down up. It's absolutely stunning. It's, it's hard to describe with words, you just have to experience it. And so we dived in for a few minutes. We uh, decided to stay in as, as long as we could to take some videos and we do have some footage for you. So we're gonna include it in the video and hopefully you like it as much as we did. Um, so yeah, we stayed, we dived for five to 10 minutes. It was awesome. He stayed a bit longer. Um, I got out because I, I was getting really cold. And, and yeah, that's about it. So just a bit information about this place here. So we're on Lake Ontario. We're on the southern eastern part um, away from the city. And uh, this lake shore, so this, um, uh, the, all the park, like a lot of parks around this area were man-made because they, they didn't exist previously and uh, government decided to create for, for residents so they can come in and relax and chill. So it was man-made and a lot of it was man-made with uh, bringing in a lot of rocks as well. And so some beaches are sandy and some are rocky. And so the beach that we went to this time, I had a lot of rock, got a lot of um, bricks as well as um, concrete with metal frames, actually metal frames that you can see sticking out. Probably not the safest, but you know, you can still see it around the beach and uh, it makes the little pebbles once they are broken down and washed by water. Actually, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, we'll, we'll show you cool. some footage. Yeah.
about our hobby. Our hobby is free diving. We love it. We want to. I want to tell something how we get into it. In the beginning, I loved snorkel when I was on my vacations, and there I fell in love with underwater world. It's just so amazing, so beautiful, and I can stop it. That's how we start training and practicing free diving because we can go anywhere without any equipment and be underwater how much you can hold your breath story for me is a bit different so the way i got into free diving is because of this champ <laughs> see he got me into it uh, i never knew about free diving before i snorkeled different places tropics you know and those who snorkeled in the tropics you know what a different world it is from snorkeling in freshwater in the lakes right so snorkel there loved it but free diving takes us to the next level so when you free dive you actually dive in and you build, you're able to be with the sea life um, kind of on the same level there are no bubbles there's no equipment you just dive in and you just be in yourself you take that one breath and then you dive in on that one breath you dive in and, um, under the water and then you swim around so he got me introduced to free diving and that's how I got into it and I loved it honestly I think that's it's a it's amazing yeah uh, it's a completely different world out there so yeah recommended items what you need to have to do a free diving snorkel and the mask that's the most important. You can start just with all those two items, but to free dive comfortably and be underwater enjoyable, you need to have probably weights, wetsuit, and fins. That's it. You do not need it. And the body. Never free dive alone. Never. It's just safety rules. What we learned along the way uh, after free diving in a few places is that equipment is very important. So you can get different equipment for yourself. You can customize it. You can get different suits, different fins, different masks, snorkels, whatever. Um, and you can get different colors, whatever you like. You can really make it all funky. So just, just go crazy and, and, and get what you <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, there is a lot of variation right <laughs> now in the, on the market. There is so amazing. She, she has so Look. amazing like my fins that's, they're proud of them yeah yeah that, that's like i love it um but so I'm, so yeah and uh, know how your equipment works as well know the tactics and all the techniques you want to make sure that you know what to do in different situations you know there's you know, you're diving in the water that's not your nature you know there could be currents there could be you know sea life um and so just know practice right like be, be safe and that's better the most if important you even thing. start with somebody else and like they, who yes, knows what they're yes. doing that's just like be better than start anything. with someone who already knows what who has practice in it who, who's experienced and then you know as you progress you can get more comfortable but never dive alone that's, that's the rule number one Wait, what was the best place for you to free dive for me key west definitely florida key west was one of the best places for an intense marine life that we saw there during our trip for me most impressive was hawaii the clearest water and marine life is so amazing. I just love it to free dive there and spearfish too. We didn't spearfish a lot there, but we did some. We catch one fish. Yeah. You can show the picture. <laughs> There's so many turtles too. Oh yeah. And you, you can see them under the, under the rocks. In the water, you can see one turtle swimming and then you can see another. And then you can see them chilling under huge flat rocks under the water so it was that it was, was kind of amazing cool. yeah. yeah it was really free dive more comfortably we do some practice at home it's not enough probably if we live near the ocean i think so we will we was practicing more but we're still practicing at home to do better our free diving sessions what we do we do every morning we do like a five mean five minutes uh stretching routine that's to get better at free diving, you can do certain numerous exercises. There are CO2 tables. If you look them up, you know what we're talking about. So it's all on the internet. Uh, you can do like breathing gymnastics, breathing yoga, 
uh, certain stretches that they say and it's helpful and you know we've done it and we do it every morning as well it takes about five minutes or so with, with a little bit of practice a regular person can hold the bread under the water more than, than three minutes that is our goal for the next couple months